Hello everyone, this is Ashani from Jinda.com. In today's video, we will talk about American Math Competition 10. But this particular video would be also useful for Math Olympiads like IOQM or the University of Waterloo Contests or even the ISI CMI entrances. I'll talk about a very interesting thing today. Perhaps you can see in the video right now at the background. This is a map for geometry for Olympiads. Of course, this is just a starter's map or the beginner's map. When we create our courses at Chinda and we create the lesson plans, we actually use maps like this. So let me show you around a little bit and I'll tell you how you can use it especially for this one is AMC 10, okay, American Math Competition 10. There are similar maps for IOQM and other contests as well. So here, the map contains several nodes. For example, you can see area of triangle, this particular node, and it has several sub nodes. For example, there is a carpet strategy, ratio of areas of basis, Heron's formula, Shiva's theorem, centroid, medians, perpendicular, orthocenter. All of these ideas are listed one after another, but they are listed in a very curious manner. It, there is a hierarchy of the ideas. For example, if you are studying area of triangles, you should start with these three ideas, the carpet strategy, the ratio of area is equal to the ratio of basis and the Heron's formula. And then, after you study the ratio of area is equal to ratio of basis, you go to something called Shiva's theorem, the Shiva's theorem. You see, after you do the top idea, then you go to the bottom idea. That's how the flow of the hierarchy is. This map gives you a way to study geometry efficiently. And once you study the Shiva's theorem, then see the arrow, it points towards centroid. Now there is another way you can study centroid and that's after studying the medians. So now you have two paths going up to centroids, one coming from the medians, one coming from the Shiva's theorem. Of course, you can study the perpendicular and then study the orthocenter, but you can study the Shiva's theorem and then study the orthocenter. So, there are multiple routes coming to a particular node and that is all right because that's what makes things interesting. You can learn the same contest or concept in multiple ways. Okay, so this is area of triangles, one main chunk. Then the next main chunk is isometries. So we start with three types of isometry, rotation, translation, and reflection. Now, once you learn rotation, you can also talk about complex numbers, though uh, complex numbers are not explicitly tested in AMC 10, they are e immediately text tested in AMC 12. So we, at Chinta courses, we actually introduce complex numbers, even at the level of AMC 10, just to make things interesting and more, inter uh, more effective. Now, once you learn rotation, the other thing that you can learn is circles. Rotations and circles are very intimately related. Once you learn translation, you can learn about vectors. And once you learn reflection, well, reflection doesn't go anywhere else, so it's a different subunit on its own. Once you learn circles, there are Several ways you can go. You can go to tangents. You can go to cyclic quadrilaterals. You can go to tangent quad theorem. You can go to locus definitions. And from locus definition, you can talk about circumcenter of a triangle. So this map, again, tells you how to start with the notion of isometries and go to circles, go to complex numbers, go to rotation, reflection, all of these ideas. So you can flow along these uh, chain of ideas and learn in a very efficient way. The same thing goes with coordinate geometry, which is basically linked with so many other nodes. 
so you can start with coordinate geometry and learn on of them. So um, this is the map of for AMC 10. I hope it has been useful for you. I'll see you in the next one.